I want to introduce you to an old friend of mine, Sean Lewis. Now, Sean, can you tell us what your title is? He's very I, important. <laughs> I am the city councillor for Ward 2 in London. So I'm representing the, the Argyle neighborhood in the East End. Exactly. Um, how many years do you think we've known each other? Oh my goodness, I don't want to count all that way back. Right, since we were two, so since, 25. Yeah, since 25, we were two. 25, I think, ish, right? <laughs> anyway, so, um, and where are we here? We are in the brand new East Lions Community Centre, right in the heart of Argyle in East Lions Park uh, on Waybell Street. Exactly. And this is your baby, isn't it? This is a project that has been both a labour of love and one that has given me a lot more grey hair. <laughs> Special. Special. Special grey hairs. It's, it's a gift. <laughs> okay, tell me a little bit about it and then you can take us on a bit of a tour if that sounds good to you. Sure. So this is a, a project that's been such a long time coming. I mean, I have to say, I just built on, on the work of others. Uh, this was something I got involved with before I was even elected as the uh, outgoing chairperson of the Argyle Community Association. Uh, even going back to my first year on the board with the Community Association, we were advocating for City Hall to build a community centre for the East End. Uh, it's been almost 20 years since people first started writing letters and lobbying council to get this done. Um, now, I didn't, I, I wasn't on council to get the project approved. It was approved before I was elected. But I came to council inheriting a giant mess. It was already a year behind schedule when I was sworn in. Uh, so, and then of course COVID came. Well, yeah. So then we add on the labor challenges and the supply chains and, and all the problems that COVID brought along. Uh, so it ended up being almost three full years late uh, opening its doors, but we've got now this new $21 million state-of-the-art community center, uh, two indoor pools, a full lap pool, and then a smaller uh, wading pool for moms and tot swims and things like that. Uh, a full-size gymnasium behind us uh, with a, a wall that can slide across so we can create two gymnasiums. Uh, we've got basketball and pickleball and volleyball and, and yoga classes and everything going on in there. Uh, we have, of course, right now we're sitting in the lounge area. Uh, yeah. It's it's very warm outside today. I broke a sweat just coming across the road. <laughs> but uh, we've got a, a gas fireplace in the winter, provide a, a nice warm space for people to sit and read. Uh, we have down the hall uh, a community kitchen for doing cooking classes. We've got multi-purpose uh, meeting rooms with all the AV connections already set up. Uh, one of those rooms has shuffleboard set up on the floor. We have seniors who come in and play oh, shuffleboard. Nice. Uh, we have a fitness studio where we have, uh, again, some yoga classes, dance classes, uh, some other sorts of cardio fitness uh, that get provided there. Um, and then at the, end of the, uh, at the end of the building, we've got an arts space. Uh, where we're doing drawing and painting classes and uh, I understand there's going to be some sewing classes and things like that down there as well. And that's just on the inside. Yeah. So we've got this fabulous space and then we've completely renovated the park mm -hmm. outside. Uh, we've put in an outdoor basketball court that in the winter, uh, I had a great time this winter. Um, I was the, the team captain for keeping the ice rink frozen because <laughs> uh, the basketball court converts to an outdoor ice rink. Right. Um, we've identified a couple of little engineering problems that we need to fix this summer so the water stays in the rink. <laughs> oh no! Um, and at 11 o'clock at night when it's minus 25, without, it was a bit of frustrating work to be out there with a garden hose trying to keep the ice good. Uh, but when I looked out the window the next day and, and saw kids skating on it and enjoying it, it that was worth every second. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've, we've realigned the soccer fields and put in new drainage uh, so that the soccer field will be a much better situation than it was before. We've got a high water table here, so the soccer field often flooded uh, and wasn't able to be used for games on a regular basis. And then we've got the, the ring garden and, and a sitting area in the corner. And we've also uh, outside put in, uh, there's an outdoor ping pong, ping pong table. Oh, nice. Um, as well as uh, two new outdoor pickleball courts and a new outdoor tennis That's court. It's very popular. So, oh, there's something going on in this space every day all hours of the day now. It's like a party in the east. Yeah, I, I look out across the road because I, I do live just across the road and 
you know, still a lot of working from home right now. So you, I, I open the curtains in my home office in the morning. Uh, there's somebody walking their dog in the park. There's yoga or uh, step classes or something going on in the gym. Or we've got after school, that basketball court just fills up with kids. Yeah, I'm always seeing activity here and I'm always seeing people like reading books out on the Adirondack chairs, which are so cool for this space. And then people out with their dogs and on their bikes, like just the outside. I knew the inside would be fantastic, but um, you know, you could see how this area went from kind of flat, no action, vacant. Yeah. It's we had an old outdoor swimming pool. Yeah. We had uh, old outdoor tennis courts that were so broken up you couldn't even play ball hockey on it, let alone mm -hmm. tennis. Um, it, it was really, it was falling into disrepair. Yeah. I mean, the outdoor pool was still getting used a little bit in the summer, but it just wasn't able to provide it, the year-round opportunities for, for kids of all ages, the young and the young at heart like you and I, um, in this neighborhood. So uh, it's just fantastic to see. And of course, we've put in a, a new outdoor playground as well. We actually last summer prioritized getting the park space ready because we were still in, in COVID situation. Yeah. We couldn't have a full capacity in the building. We had very limited, even for the workers, we couldn't have a full work crew in. They were only allowed so many in, in each section. Uh, so we focused on getting the outside done first so that people in the neighborhood could at least start to enjoy the pickleball courts, the basketball courts, start, have that outdoor space at least to use. Sure, sure. Uh, and it has been full since the day we opened. Yeah, yeah, it's been lovely to see. Like. I love what I've seen in this spot. It, it was, it was just vacant. There was nothing going on. So this is amazing. And uh, I'm so excited to let you share it with us. So I'm hoping you can show us a few spaces that aren't being populated by a bunch of people today. <laughs> sure, we can uh, take a, a little walk through and uh, I'll highlight a few of the, the key things for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, let's do this. Let's do it. Okay, right on. Here you go. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm excited that my leg got all the way up there. So. Uh, me too. <laughs> we're going to be, we're going to be limping later. <laughs> it's nice to see even couples come in for dance classes. Oh yeah, right? that would be and so cool. Like ballroom dancing and things that, like, Sean can't dance. Yeah. Like, I should probably be signing up for one of these. But, yeah, whatever uh, I do. Hip-hop, uh, okay. for the kids, like there's just... It, They're doing some really cool programming. Yeah, and making this great room use of is this really space. cool. I like the fact that every room has light no matter what. With the other one, with the, the low windows, this one yeah. over at the side, like there's so much light in here. Like I wouldn't want to feel, you know, old places are like that. It, feel it was really in. designed to be a, a very high natural light building. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll tell you, I, I, I'm a swimmer, I love being in the pool. Um, I, I'm not over quite as much now that my backyard one is finally above freezing. Nice. But uh, the, to swim in a pool where you're not in a concrete bunker, yeah. where you've actually got sunlight coming in and you can see the activity going on outside, it just makes for so much nicer an experience. Yeah, absolutely. I would think so. Yeah, it feels good. It feels really good in here. I like the space for sure. Well, why don't we go down to the community kitchen? Yes, let's go cook something. Well, let's go steal food. You see all the lights on automatic. Yeah. Uh, so you know, it's designed to be very energy efficient. But yeah, we've got this whole community kitchen in here. Uh, you know, we've got a few herbs uh, growing on the windowsill. Uh, but everything you would need uh, from you know, the ovens, the microwaves, fridge, all, all the cooking utensils that are in the cupboard. Uh, you know, you've got the glass little cups over there. They're cut out so it's accessible. Oh, yeah. So yeah, sure. for somebody who uh, might be using a walker or a wheelchair, they can still access the stove tops. Uh, so you've got this wonderful space where we're going to be offering cooking classes, uh, you know, cooking for kids, cooking on a budget. Uh, I know there's some uh, cultural groups that want to do some cooking classes with culturally specific food. So maybe we'll have like a cooking Mexican food night or uh, a cooking Indian food night or, or whatever the, the flavor happens to be. So. This is amazing. Again, look at the windows. Like, geez. You know, I don't feel close in at all. This is a great space. And we did our best when, when the building was being designed to protect as many of the mature trees that were already in the mm -hmm. park as we could. So, you know, you're not looking out on just straight grass and some rope. We've been able to save a lot of the trees in the yeah. park. And so yeah. you've got that nice green, and alive space. And it's hot today. Yes. And although. 
the sun coming in here would be fine because it's air conditioned. You still kind of feel it, right? And so with kind of some trees there, and plus it just gives a really kind of foresty feeling. It's, yeah. It's what you want, right? You know, we've got a reading area down here. These pop up. So you've got charging oh. stations. So, oh, that's you know. Super cool. Well, somebody's little brother or sister's in for swimming lessons, the older sibling can sit here and work on homework. Or even if, if some of the teens in the area just want to come and use the Wi-Fi. There's free Wi-Fi throughout the building. Oh. Uh, which, for some kids in the neighborhood, having that Wi-Fi access, they might not have it at home, so mm -hmm. they can come mm -hmm. here, plug yeah. in, keep their devices charged, and get their homework done. Yeah, this is amazing. Or play some kind or of Or play game Clash of Clans, or whatever they, they happen to be playing <laughs> these be days. Let's be honest so. here. It's going to be 50-50, and I'm being kind of <laughs> Yeah, There, there might be a few Instagram posts there might and stuff, be a few Snapchats happening here some too. Some selfies so, here yeah. in the uh, community center. Yeah, for sure. This is really cool. Yeah, I like this space. 